This is the new look of the U.S. Library of Congress. Blinking lights, lots of cables, and an ocean of digital information with more than 50 million individual files. This fancy tower is one of several web servers that brings most of the information to the Internet. Jane Mandelbaum manages information technology services at the library. All the data in our website is here. So far, the library has a total of 700 terabytes of data. But because of copyright issues, only 200 of those are available on the web. Jane Mandelbaum explains. A terabyte, it's about uh, 1,600 CDs, or about uh, 330 hours of TV, or about 2,000 uh, books. And so we have about 200 of those terabytes on our website and we have about 500 terabytes um, that we keep in our long-term preservation systems. At the Library of Congress, the numbers can be mind-boggling. Experts estimate they have more than 120 million books, 36,000 feature films, hundreds of thousands of music sheets and recordings, and the largest collections of manuscripts, websites, posters, and photography. Yet only 1% of it has been digitized. Thomas Yockel is the senior systems engineer. We have a scan lab here that scans anywhere from four to six million items a year. Now, I don't guarantee that all of those are put up on the web, but a lot of it is. Most of the library's digital collection is for preservation reasons. But it is the one percent of the collection that has been digitized for the web that serves most of its customers, 85 million a year. Digitizing the Library of Congress is a long and expensive process. This is one of 205 volumes from Abraham Lincoln's documents from the 1800s. The careful scanning of manuscripts makes this very slow work. The collection of around 65 million manuscripts holds some of the most treasured documents at the library, from presidential papers to original poems. The chief of the manuscript division, James Hudson, says in the computer age, the creative process of manuscripts is getting lost. You won't have Shakespeare's first draft or Beethoven's original sketch of the Ninth Symphony in the future, probably. That, those, that's all lost in the, the digital age. More than five million maps are being digitized. Some in large sizes, like this map of Africa, painted on cloth at the turn of the century. Atlas books like this one, hand-painted in the early 1600s, require a different technology. Its anthropomorphic map of Belgium is beautiful, but geographically incorrect. Colleen Cahill leads the digitizing team. She says people can freely use those materials on the web. We're looking at four acres of cartographic materials. The they represent over five million maps, tens of thousands of atlases, hundreds of globes. Also, nearly one and a half million photos have been posted on the web. One of the biggest challenges at the Library of Congress today is the rapid change of technology. If you think of in terms of changing technologies, you go from this to this. This holds approximately hundred times as much information as is on here. While workers continue scanning and digitizing millions of items, they keep an eye on a migration plan to move from obsolete technology to new technology, a never-ending process. For producer Zulima Palacio, I'm Carolyn Pursuti, VOA News. Well, it's, 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 it's...